security cameras, different things that uh, we're, we're researching grants and stuff. And it's, it's this, uh, uh, my wife reminds me, this job is full time, not part time. But that's it because we love what we're doing here. But um, uh, I want to know more about the safety programs that we've initiated. Has the accident ratio declined in the last two years? Um, and anything else that can help with us data because we're going to save more money next year when we go out to bid for liability insurance and workman's comp. All right, public comment. All right, then I propose we end the workshop and begin the me meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Can we have a roll call, please? Present. Councilman Denbaum? Present. Councilwoman Osborne? I'm here. Councilman Hustis? Here. And Councilman Tierney is not present. Do you want me to do three and four? Do you want me to do five and six? Yeah. Okay. Three and four? Mm -hmm. Do we have a resolution for that? We do. Well, not for four, I don't think. I'd like to make a motion to authorize the town clerk to advertise for bids for the salt shed. A second. Well, I'm going to, you want me to read it? I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Whereas the town of Kent is accepting bids for the construction of a salt shed, and whereas the town of Kent wishes to advertise for bidders to construct a salt shed, and whereas the town board of the town of Kent wishes, wishes to authorize this town clerk, Yolanda D. Capelli, to advertise for bids for the construction of a salt shed on behalf of the town of Kent, now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Kent hereby authorizes the town clerk, Yolanda D. Capelli, to advertise for the construction of a salt shed on behalf of the town of Kent. And uh, the notice will state notices hereby given that sealed bids will be received by the town of Kent at the office of the town clerk, Kent Town Center, 25 Sybil's Crossing, Kent Lakes, New York, 10512, until 12 noon on Friday, March 20th, 2015. And then it said place be publicly opened and read aloud for the salt shed bids. All the bids must be met meet the specifications of the town of Kent, copies of the information for bidders, general requirements, bid specifications, non-collusive bidding certification, and bid proposals may be obtained at the office of the town clerk. Bids must be submitted at the above address in sealed envelopes and must bear on the face thereof the name and the address of the bidder and the following inscription, bids for the construction of a salt shed. The town of Kent reserves the right to reject any and or, and or all bids to re-advertise for new bids, bids should be awarded in accordance with General Municipal Law 103. I make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'd like to make a motion to authorize the supervisor to approve the E-code estimate uh, for local laws 1, 2, and 3, uh, not to exceed, is it still $5,500 though? Yeah, $5,500. 5, $5,510 to codify local laws 1, 2, and 3 of 2014. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Again. Okay, the oh. erosion control. Yeah. Um, I said resolution. Uh, whereas BBJ Associates LLC, the owner, owns a parcel of land known as Hillcrest Commons, identified um, on the town of Kent tax map as number 44.10-1-4, the lot. And whereas the planning board of the town of Kent approved an application from the owner out for the site plan approval of Hillcrest Commons, senior housing development, which included erosion control and stormwater management measures, 
to be undertaken by the owner, among other things, the project. And whereas the owner posted a performance bond for erosion control and stormwater management relating to the project to the town of Kent in the amount of $67,380, the bond, and whereas the owner has submitted a request that the bond be released, and whereas the Moran Mor memorandum to the planning board dated January 8th, 2015, the town's planning consultant has recommended that the $65,380 of the bond be released and $2,000 of the bond be held until certain stabilization issues are addressed by the owner and the notice of intent is filed with the um, New York State DEC. And whereas the planning board and their meeting held January 15, 2015, approved resolution one of year 2015 following the town planning consultant's recommendation that $65,380 of the bond be released and $2,000 of the bond be held until certain stabilization issues are addressed by the owner and a notice of intent is filed with the New York State DEC and whereas the town board of the town of Kent wishes to follow the recommendations of the planning board, now therefore it be resolved that the town board of the town of Kent hereby authorizes the release of $65,380 of the bond and the retention of $2,000 of the bond until the outstanding stabilizations have been addressed to the satisfaction of the town board and the uh, com and com confirmation is received that a notice of intent has been filed with the New York State DEC. And I will make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, I'd like to introduce a resolution. Um, whereas the code enforcement officer of the town of Kent issued an order to remedy a violation dated December 16th, 2014, the order to remedy, directing the owner to remove all buildings, materials, insulation, wood, plastic, and metal debris from the exterior area of the property identified as 24 Chauncey Road, tax map 33.56-1-20, the property. And whereas the order to remedy required the owner of the property to remove all building materials, insulation, wood, plastic, and metal debris from the exterior area of the property, or submit a written request to the code enforcement officer for a hearing to discuss remedial action to abate said violation within 10 days. And whereas to date the owner of the property has not corrected the violation as required by the order to remedy, nor submitted the required written request to the code enforcement officer to discuss remedial action to abate the violation, and whereas pursuant to Chapter 55A of the Town Code of the Town of Kent regarding property maintenance, upon the failure, neglect, or refusal of any owner to comply, the building inspector is authorized to correct a violation or cause such violation to be corrected subject to the approval of the Town Board, and whereas the Town Board wishes to authorize the building inspector to correct the violation and costs of such correction will be charged to the property owner, and whereas consistent with the Town's procurement policy, the Town Board of the Town of Kent obtained written proposals from contractors to correct the violation on the property, and whereas Dirt and Demolition Guides of New York LLC has submitted the lowest responsible proposal, and whereas the Town Board of the Town of Kent wishes to accept the proposal submitted by Dirt and Demolition Guides of New York LLC in the amount of $1,309, now therefore it be resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Kent hereby accepts the bid of Dirt and Demolition Guides of New York LLC for the correction of the violation on the property, and be it further resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Kent hereby authorizes and directs the supervisor to execute any and all documents necessary to give effect to this resolution, and it is further resolved that the actual cost of the correction of the violation plus the accrued legal rate of interest per annum from the date of completion of the work, if not paid by the property owner, shall be charged to the property owner by the town in accordance with Chapter 55A-12B. I make that motion. Second for discussion. Mm -hmm. Is this a repetitive? Yeah. What else can we do? Um, if this is a repetitive person. I know what Bill would probably like to do. I, I, I know, but um, 
we're going to tack this on expense to its taxes. We've done this before. Maybe this is the third time. Uh, will it ever be, you know, the liens or whatever uh, against to his property and stuff ever? It's covered? been to court. I don't know what the courts have decided to do um, about this other than what we're doing here. I don't know if, well, you know. I, I mean, we could sit up here. I assume, <coughs> I don't know, I guess we get uh, guidance from counsel, but we could say that uh, we could direct the town attorney, uh, which in this case would be Tim Curtis, as doing uh, the type of violation work, and the zoning board to, you know, use every means necessary and go forward under every uh, provision of the, the town code uh, to remedy the situation. I know that the town code calls for fines and violations and other remedies as well, and we could, I think, direct uh, the town attorney to enforce uh, the law to the fullest extent um, until we're, you know, we're satisfied. I think we can do that. But I think the problem is, and I think we've been there and done that, I think the problem is when it goes to court, it's, yeah. it's basically... Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe this is a question for executive session, but the strategy going forward and how we deal with this in, mm -hmm. uh, in front of the town justice court, we, we could be kind of guiding the hand of our town attorney on how to do it. Yeah, the question is, will we ever recoup the costs that we're spending cleaning up his property? When the county auctions it off, if <laughs> there's any money left. Well, when it comes then, you know, the bottom line is, uh, uh, let's say three, four years from now on that, that piece of property, and, and when they see the figure there, you know, I don't know who's going to bid on it, but um, uh, we could vote on this tonight. But I, I would ask that uh, uh, I don't know if the I used to have somebody that could knock on a door and do some counseling, and I don't know if that'll help. But um, uh, with something I know, I know, uh, somebody, maybe family member, somebody's got to reach out to see what can be addressed. And my question is, um, maybe this is a test case. But again, um, I know in my past career, we had hoarders, we had other situations that uh, would mystify you. Thought it was the things you watch on TV? Well, they're in our community. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, but here, you were tacking on costs that we're gonna be paying the, the, uh, the taxpayers of the town of Kent. And uh, will we ever recoup those funds? We need to really think this out. Um, and possibly uh, council, I know this is not an easy thing, but I know we don't have to revent it. It happens in every community. Um, and possibly, uh, I'm gonna say DSS, social worker, but I, I don't know how Alex feels about that one. But um, it's, it's a family member, somebody that possibly, and I don't know if there's a, a language issue, there could be. Um, so we need to, I used to have a language bank um, somebody can relate to these people or this person that is doing this, but I think it's the third time. So we need to possibly look at this because I don't know if we'll ever recoup our money. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, I think doing everything that you, the town code authorizes you to do, and I understand what you're getting at, and I think that's, you know, I, I need more background information on the situation because I'm not really well, familiar with it. So. Can we, I mean, just looking at the pictures, and I don't know anything about building structures and that kind of thing, but at what point do, do we have cause to have our building inspector check and determine whether this is something that needs to be condemned? Because if you look at some of the pictures, it looks like it's pretty close. And I don't know if we've ever gone that route, uh, you know, doing, determining whether this is a safe structure. Mm -hmm. Don't we have authority to do that? Uh you have to let me take a look sure. into a little bit more, and since we have a board meeting next week, maybe we can re revisit this. Okay. 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 So we have. So we have a, a second. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have a vote? Roll call. Danbaum. Yes. Councilman Osborne. Yeah. Councilman Hustis. Yes. Supervisor Fleming. Yes. Motion carried. Okay, I'd like um, to make. A motion to approve the submission of the town of Kent annex um, to the Putnam County um, for the Putnam County mitigation plan. I'll second, second that. Roll call. I figured. No. Councilwoman Osborne? Yeah. Councilman Hustis? Yes, based on what I said. Cool. Supervisor Fleming? Yes. Motion carried. Okay. Let's see if my voice makes it. I ask uh, that you approve the following vouchers for February 24th, 2015 that are gone over the threshold. 
Arkell Motors, Auto Parts, $2,192.88 and $11,451.28. Semco, that's the repairs to Water District Number 2, $5,785. City Carding, that's the Lake Carmel Garbage, $2,516.45, $3,324.88. And four thousand one hundred fifty-nine dollars and forty-six cents. <throat> Danbury Auto Spring, the rear loader repair for two thousand six hundred and twelve dollars and nineteen cents. Global Montello Group gasoline costs four thousand five hundred thirty-eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. Hereta Generi, Generi G. Diesel and kerosene, $5,018.80. Hogan and Rossi, March for 2015 legal services, $5,416.67. <clears throat> Jasper Engines, truck number 70, $2,175. The Kent Fire District, the 2015 budget, <clears throat> $454,650. Kent Manor Sewer Corporation, that's the final payment. $480,000. The KVS Information Systems, the quarterly installment, $2,736.08. Mac Tools for a scanner, $2,281.96. Medicare reimbursements, first quarter reimbursement, $17,728.10. Morton Salt, 47080 10 cents. National Gear and Piston, Auto Parts, 2015, 26 cents. Nikomco, it's a two-way radio for police, the rental, $2,622. New York State Department of Civil Service, March Health Insurance, $174,352.88. Annual assessment for the New York Municipal Workers' Comp, $14,457.28. Putnam County Commissioner of Finance, that's for erroneous outreach and coalition, $10,497.78. Royal Carding, $4,884.15. <coughs> Selective Insurance, Lake Carmel Flood Insurance, $2,282. State Controller, $19,592.50. Justice Court Fines. Tenco Industries, Highway Truck, 26 for $24,045. Tire buys, <coughs> $2,493.84 with tires. Do you want me to finish? Okay, you can do number 25. Do you want me to finish? 25. Okay. Uh, Town of Kent Municipal <coughs> Repairs, $3,038.19 for chargebacks for the police. Town of Kent PBA, $18,000. $780 for the welfare fund. Transaxle, Axel, sorry, $4,019.94. Highway truck 42, $2,039.74. Highway truck 13, $2,267.34. Highway truck 27, $2,019.94. Highway truck 32, $2,039.74. Highway truck 24. Um, West Hook Sand and Gravel, $14,208.68. Sand, $7,669.43. Windstream, $3,657.96. Uh, the KVS annual subscription, $5,993. And Morton Salt, $95,743.86. Second. I think somebody else should second since you started. Anybody else second? second? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, and now we've reached the portion of the meeting open to public comment. If anyone has any comment, uh, two things. Hopefully, I make it here. Um, asking everybody to check their elderly neighbors. Uh, it's a rough winter. Things are pretty rough. I'm hearing some temperatures. Uh, you're putting on 68, and you're lucky you get up to 60 degrees. People are having it rough out there. Check on your elderly neighbors and your friends next door. And um, 
neighbor helping neighbor is very important. The other thing I want to bring up is that on March 7th from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, Carmel Rotary is doing a basketball shootout. It's a method to do fundraising for nonprofits, uh, and we're hoping that some of the nonprofits in our town will uh, reap the benefit and get involved. Uh, hopefully, maybe the the, uh, the tower committee, uh, the fire tower committee, uh, historic preservation, and uh, possibly the library. Uh, but get involved is a chance to, to, to raise money for your cause. And um, one other thing, traffic safety. I have gotten some uh, letters from the state, and um, I know there was another accident in Ludingtonville on 52 just last night. I got an email. Um, it's important, and uh, we do have the state that will be uh, studying uh, the various intersections, and I'm going to ask them to please uh, be in touch with our chief of police and a town supervisor. It's very important. Safety is important. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you very much.